Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam, question number five, in Electronics Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed version of the second edition of Electronics Demystified, you'll find this question on page 417. The length of a complex impedance vector in the Rx half plane well, now remember what the Rx half plane actually is. It is a coordinate plane, just the right hand half of a coordinate plane. The vertical axis represents reactance. That is an imaginary quantity. Negative reactances are capacitive, x sub c, positive reactances are inductive, X sub L, and resistance, pure resistance, goes out towards the right along that axis. Well, we can plot any complex impedance as a point somewhere on this plane, and then a vector just goes out from the origin, which is the intersection of these two axes, to that point. That is a complex impedance vector. Well, the length of this vector represents the absolute value impedance. If you go straight down from the point, you get the resistive part of that impedance, and if you go straight to the left, over to the axis, the reactance axis, you get the reactance portion. Here we have a certain amount of resistance and a certain amount of inductive reactance to create a complex impedance vector. The length of that vector is the absolute value impedance. Well, that's not any of the choices here. It's not admittance, reactance, resistance, or susceptance. It's none of those not even given, so our conclusion is to pick choice E.